What's the buzz? This is Zeta Beetle, and welcome back to Setting the Stage. In this episode, it is finally time to go into the stronghold. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Zeta Beetle, didn't you die at the end of the last episode and uh, have to walk all the way back? Yes. Yes, I did. But... I looked over said episode uh, and uh, retraced my steps to this exact point specifically. Because as you can see right there, that, my dear friends, is the marked area where I enter the stronghold. And I forgot to set my stopwatch. Grand. Okay. So, let's go on ahead and uh, get into the, um, the stronghold in question, shall we? Okay, so I anticipated that uh, one um, uh, being a um, uh, uh, my very first challenge uh, right there. Um, having um, to use a pickaxe to, uh, uh, to go down further. So... Well, technically, I don't have to do so in order to just get down. The thing is, to get down fast, I would need to do so. So, I'm going to go on ahead and uh, go down by three at a time. And, uh, and we'll uh, take it from there. Oh, and uh, uh, by the way, guys, um, this week... You're going to see three episodes of uh, Setting the Stage, including a birthday special for my dear father. So, um, yeah, that's gonna be, uh, yeah, that's gonna be fun. Um, and I have been pretty much working tirelessly in order to, uh, get that episode off the ground. Um, uh, so... The thing that I am needing to do is, uh, since the episode is going to be um, uh, pretty far up there in terms of um, in terms of the timeline, um, it may even um, uh, go into the um, uh, next season entirely um, uh, at this pace. Um, the um, uh, the episode is uh, basically going to be a bit of a birthday present um, uh, for my dad. Um, and it... I'm going to be honest, guys. Um, he's not really even going to care because... Um, poor soul. He's been in the nursing home for, um, like... A, on the 7th um, uh, of January, see. he's been in the nursing home for uh, uh, three years now uh, due to a stroke that uh, really um, uh, took him out. Like, uh, uh, he, um, he hardly even um, uh, knows uh, what's going on anymore. Uh, to be honest with you guys. Uh, so, and... Uh, the only reason why I am um, uh, doing this birthday special in the first place is uh, just to um, make sure that it uh, comes out on his birthday. It'll be added to the playlist uh, once the rest of the series catches up. But, um... Uh, let's just suffice it to say... It has no right to be um, recorded so early, aside from being a um, birthday present for Dad. So, I'm going to, um, I'll record it Wednesday and uh, set it to have a, um, a scheduled uh, um, uh, premiere uh, for um, uh, Dad's birthday. And, uh, now this will be the first time I ever do this type of stuff. Like, 
I have never um, uh, started out a clip on um, uh, private before, and I have never set a premiere date before. So um, that's going to be um, a, a very interesting situation for me. Anyway, let's see. Uh, it's a. Uh, I am really digging down deep and uh, not finding anything um, at the moment. How deep do these? Uh, <laughs> how deep do these uh, uh, strongholds go? I mean, my goodness, look. I am at 39 right now. Um, I should be um, uh, getting down there by now, right? I mean, I don't really remember uh, that much because uh, it's been a while since I've uh, really um, uh, dug down into a stronghold. But uh, surely, uh, surely I should be um, uh, getting down there really quickly. Like, I am at uh, Y30. I should be um, uh, seeing it right about now. So, um, the thing about these uh, uh, Eyes of Ender is that uh, they don't really um, uh, point you um, uh, uh, that close to the, um, uh, the portal uh, consistently. Um... Uh, they um uh, they take you um i believe um usually to the entrance of the stronghold so um yeah uh, okay do that and then place a ladder there drop down a little bit and then do that, and that, and that. Alright, I am down to Y15. How deep is this stronghold, dude? Like, uh, am I gonna have to do the same thing as I did uh, in um, my original run of, uh, uh, of this kind and... Uh, and just have to manually uh, go after um, and, uh, the uh, place uh, layer by layer until I find it. Look at that. I'm at Deep Slate right now. I am at Y6, and I still haven't found this stronghold. What am I doing wrong here? Am I in... Uh, it went down right here. That uh, Eye of Ender went down right here. What am I doing wrong? Alright. If I, um, if I run out of ladders here, um, before I find this thing... Oh! Uh... I didn't plan that well, did I? <laughs> Welcome to yet another uh, inconsistency with the um, story that I'm trying to tell. <laughs> this is a feature of the Caves and Cliffs update. <laughs> and this is the deepest stronghold I have ever dug into. At negative ten. <laughs> Dang. Alrighty. At the very least. Okay. At the very least. I did not have to skip forward. And, uh, and uh, try and find the stronghold. I just had to dig down deeper. Until I uh, found said stronghold, and uh, and uh, just basically take it from there. But my goodness, that didn't take me too long to find the library. 
so uh, let's go on ahead and uh, grab all this stuff. I bet you a uh, uh, I bet you a another inconsistency is coming right here. Okay, respiration fortune, bane of arthropods, quick charge. Yup, there it is. So I don't have enough room for this, but I do have enough room for all of these books. So um. Since this is already going to be, uh, littered with, uh, inconsistencies, I'm not even going to, um, I'm not even going to worry about, uh, cutting that scene out of it. I'm, I'm just going to, um, uh, uh, put this in like it is, you know, from the intro to the outro, I'm going to leave it exactly how it is, and, uh, and take it from there. So, my, um, my big operation here is just to grab as many of these books, 64, as I can. And, uh, once I, uh, get through with this, uh, operation here, I'm going to, uh, head back to, um, uh, Fort Tribulation with my, um, uh, with my, um, uh, uh, haul in tow. And, uh, and we will, uh, uh, discuss the, uh, the plot of the next episode from there. Also, um, another thing uh, that I'm going to be doing, um, that you guys can look forward to is, um, I'm not going to just put on a, um, a private video once. Tonight's double project is also going to be uh, initially on private until the whole rest of the series catches up. And uh, uh, certain live streams are also going to be subject to this due to the fact that it progresses the world. And uh, it's going to be three of the friendship streams they're going to be renamed, and they're going to be set on private, and then they are going to be uh, set to premiere at the exact moment where um, uh, that part of the story is uh, uh, slated to begin. So you guys have that to look forward to as well. Um, so... I know that's not a terrific uh, YouTube strategy to um, uh, to re-upload uh, uh, something that's already been put in, but uh, honestly speaking, um, <sighs> I have a narrative to tell, and uh, I want to be able to um, uh, to tell it. Like, I want to be able to, um, um, uh, go back and say, this is officially part of the setting the stage story, and, uh, it's going to be a long, uh, episode of setting the stage from then on. Um, and it won't have my, um, uh, traditional, um, intro most of the time. Because uh, live streams are a bit uh, weird in that case. They, um, I never know when to um, uh, uh, do my intro in the live streams. So, whenever I go into a live stream, I'm going to probably ditch the intro altogether and uh, and just to uh, focus more on the content of uh, said live stream whether it be a uh, simple um uh, friendship stream like uh, uh, like uh, the five that i made or uh, the uh, eventual um uh, questopia smp um uh, that i'm planning like I know that uh, I am really drag tailing in that regard, and uh, the basic answer as to why I am doing so is just simply I'm not ready yet. 
the um, uh, the world is uh, not fully built and it's not ready uh, to um, uh, uh, begin uh, the uh, the world war that is uh, slated to be the um, uh, very first season and uh, I'm sorry that I um, that I spoiled uh, quite a bit of it just then but yeah we're gonna start things off with a bang so and um, uh, you guys have uh, that much to uh, look forward to but uh, honestly speaking um and uh, that's still going to be a while yet because in order to uh, do something like that your country has to be uh, complete and no country is complete without a capital um Although, you could argue that uh, right now, Fort Tribulation is uh, not only the capital, but the only city present in the, um, whole, in the whole thing. So, yeah. That's, uh, yeah, that's really, yeah, that, uh, bit. <laughs> right, then. I'm heading on to the, um... Uh, to Fort Tribulation, and uh, and I have just gotten to uh, 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 Z. I I'm gonna go to Z28, and then I'm going to go the whole rest of the way on the um, X grid. Oh look, a ruined portal! Another inconsistency. That is from, uh, Bedrock Edition 1.16, I want to say. But, um, yeah. There's no real use hiding uh, the fact that uh, this world was made, um, and, well, honestly speaking, um, it was made before the Caves and Cliffs update. And then the Caves and Cliffs came along and, uh, and, uh, gave the world, uh, a bit of a reboot. So, um, nowadays, the original version of this, uh, uh world, uh, that, to uh, where everything is, and, and the, that you've seen in the, uh, Friendship Stream 4, uh, 3, 4, and 5? Yeah. Um, that's updated too. Um, I don't know exactly how much, um, it changed in that world. But this world changed drastically. Like, I had to go and find a... I had to go and find some, uh, spruce wood. And nothing was in the same place. I had to uh, go and look um, on plot base. I want to say it's called, and uh, and find the um, uh, the the Tega and the well. That's the uh, uh, that's the easiest place to uh, find uh, stuff like that. Um. And, uh, it did kind of, uh, break one of my rules for, um, uh, for how this was going to be run. But, uh, uh in the end, um, uh, it's, uh, it only mattered a little. It only, um, got me up to about 150 megs. Compared to my other world's 153.1 megs. Yeah. But, bear in mind a few things. That world is uh, now a couple of years old. And, we have uh, filled in several maps. And uh, we've explored the nether quite a bit. And, and now uh, the Caves and Cliffs update came along and uh, uh, gave the world more depth and more height. 
Um, so, um, originally, uh, the world was uh, only about uh, 256 build limit, and uh, down to about uh, 3 when it came to mining down to bedrock. Nowadays, the build limit is uh, over 320, and uh, the uh, uh, digging limit has uh, uh, has decreased. Well, I guess you could say increased to about uh, negative 64. Negative 64. Like that is. 64 past the original um, uh, bottom of the world. And uh, nowadays, you can find lush caves. And uh, you can find so much diamond down there. Like, it's crazy. And, uh, and the thing, uh, the reason why I was uh, trying to... Um, uh, hide all of that uh, up until the uh, the azalea tree and the um, and the deepest dug uh, stronghold that ever graced the um, uh, that ever graced my screen is I wanted to tell the narrative from uh, patch three onwards to the present day. Uh, that's when, um, uh, that's when I, um, uh, started a world like this in the Wii U edition. There we go. There's Infinity Tower. Home sweet home. Now, I can, uh, go on ahead and, uh, and grab some, um, uh, wood and, uh, make a, uh, and make a library of my very own. But the one thing that I have to uh, bear in mind is, um, I don't know how much time I have uh, actually spent in this episode prior to uh, starting the uh, stopwatch, but I don't think it's been all that long. So I think I have enough time to um, to go on ahead and uh, uh, get the um, and to get the uh, um, uh, library done. So I'm gonna have to get rid of a few stuff first, and then I'll go on ahead and uh, uh, plop in um, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, library. And I'll do it on this floor right here. No, here. Because, uh, that's, uh, pretty much the only place where I actually have room. So, here is all the arrows. Okay, here's some unenchanted bows. And, uh, here are some enchanted bows. Like, that power 2 bow, for instance. Okay, now then. Let's go down and uh, get some uh, wood right quick. Do I have any in here? No? Just a bunch of unenchanted bows. I don't even have planks to make wood. Uh, it, I don't even have uh, no logs to make planks. So, let's go ahead and uh, become lumberjacks. And, uh, and just to uh, get all this stuff taken care of. Okay, so I dare say that tree over there was uh, one of those that had the beehive in it. And uh, I tend to try to avoid those uh, like the plague. And the reason for that is I don't want to disturb the bees inside and, uh, and cause myself to get stung and them to die. That's uh, not a great uh, uh, situation for me. Because I, I like the bees. I, I absolutely love them. I'm a bit like Tubbo in that regard. Um, 
And also, have you seen a bee uh, that's angry at you? Um, much like the Clombo, um, uh, that is nightmare fuel. Alrighty. So, let's go on ahead and, uh, uh, do the oak planks here. And then, I'm going to get the, uh, bookshelves here. Alright. So, third floor on this side. I'm gonna get rid of this torch here. Um, because, um, that's, uh, that's the thing here. Okay. Now. Do I have very much obsidian? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, four. Alright, do I have very much diamonds? Yes. I only need two. Alright. So, you know what I'm going after, right? Enchantment table. So, I'm putting this right here, so as to be able uh, to um, uh, get some good enchantments out of it. Now, the next thing in line is getting more planks. So, I have a whole orchard out here, guys. I have been um, uh, preparing for all of my wooden builds that use oak and spruce. As you'll see right over there, there are some spruce trees too. So, um, eh, I'm not gonna be uh, caught uh, unawares, guys. Now, the only thing that I would need to travel much distance for is jungle trees and dark oak trees. But, uh, there, um, well, actually some birch trees as well, but, um, yeah. They're, um, they're not too far away. At least most of them aren't. Uh, the acacia trees uh, are uh, um, literally like uh, uh, due east uh, or due west, maybe, of here. And uh, uh, that'll be um, uh, uh, crucial for some of the builds, like the um, uh, like uh, Tiger Ranch and the Pasture of Colors over there. Um, the, uh, the big thing here is, I'm going to be, uh, gathering this, t this, uh, uh, wood in order to get the, um, uh, the library done and to get some good enchantments so that I can fight the Ender Dragon, which is ultimately going to be, um, my, um, end goal for the season. To fight off and kill the Ender Dragon. And uh, if I do that, guys, um, yeah, we are looking at a um, uh, at a uh, season premiere uh, that'll um, uh, set up a uh, another boss battle um, against a, a much rougher opponent than the um, Ender Dragon. Many have asked me why I make the Ender Dragon a uh, final boss in my adventure maps when the Wither is actually the hardest boss. And the um, uh, fact of the matter is... <sighs> whenever you go through the end portal, you have, uh, um, you have the end poem, which looks like credits. So, uh, that's why, uh, because once you um, uh, beat the Ender Dragon, um, it's pretty much the end of the game. The Wither is a super boss, as they are called. Basically, it's a boss out, uh, it's a boss that is past the final boss, and, uh, uh, and they tend to be um, a little bit harder. For example, um, Pokemon Coliseum has a super go uh, super boss named Fane, and uh, and he basically uses all of the replacement Pokemon uh, that you can fight um, uh, during the um, uh, Cipher admin battles. For example, 
Um, Venus is Milotic. Um, Dakum's Pokemon. Um, I believe Mirror Bees is in that. Um, and then once you have uh, fought off five replacement Pokemon, you will come face to face with the final Shadow Pokemon of the game, Togetic. So, and um, I know I am kind of uh, um, uh, treading a, um, a dangerous line here by telling you all of this. Um, but um, honestly speaking, it's not like I'm using any of their songs. So, um, I don't think uh, uh, just mentioning a game is going to um, uh, give me the dreaded strike. I think um, it, um, uh, that would lead to a strike. Because Nintendo is uh, very, very, very attached to their um, uh, property. And, uh, and they will... Um, uh, and uh, sometimes they don't hesitate to um, uh, hit you with a um, uh, cease and desist um, order uh, and uh, have you take down uh, the uh, uh, projects that uh, uh, that look like Nintendo products um, and uh, and yet uh, they're not uh, uh, getting a dime for it, I guess. I don't know. I really couldn't tell you anything like that. Like... Okay, what's going on here? Okay. Oh wait, I don't have... I, I'm not in a crafting table. What am I doing? Okay. So I can make four uh, bookshelves here. So... How many? I only needed one. Okay. So, there we go. That is the uh, Fort Tribulation enchantment room done. Alrighty. So, in the next episode, I am going to, um, I'm going to go for a, a long railroad system in order to uh, get off the rails. Or rather, on the rails. Uh, <laughs> Wrong game. Anyway, um, in the meantime, though, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Until then, adios, amigos.